been really impressed so far. You know, I thought um, on the women's team, what was encouraging last week is we were uh, really good through our 11th runner, which is a lot deeper team than we've ever had here. Um, and on the men's side, our top four are competing really well, um, probably a little bit above my expectations. So on the men's side, we just got to work on getting a fifth and sixth runner in there. But really overall, really happy with how they are coming in off of summer training. Grayak is going to be a really fun race. Uh, there's a lot of competition, a lot of big schools there, uh, Oregon and um, some really big name schools that will provide a lot of great competition, but it's a meet that we can prove uh, to ourselves that we are capable of going to nationals and we are able to challenge ourselves at this meet because we'll be able to see all these girls and we'll just be able to stick with them, create a, a really good team com camaraderie and run as a group and really try to push ourselves and excel throughout this meet. And it's going to be a lot of competition. It's, there are a lot of hills from what I've heard. I actually haven't run at GRIAC, but it's going to be a really neat meet to see what we all can do at a high level competition, which we, we would get at nationals. I'm excited. Um, Greg's a great meet. Uh, it's a hilly course. Um, tons of competition. Um, you need to take competition one of two ways. You can get disappointed that someone's beating you, or you can take it as a positive and use that as motivation to get better. So I'm excited because I want to get better, and um, you can't get better if you're not around better competition. So. Yeah, I'm really excited. I mean, when you have that many runners, it's kind of a crazy start. 250 people starting at the same point, narrowing down to you know 25, 30 meters pretty quickly. It's uh, pretty hectic, and you got to be confident at the start of that race. I've been looking forward to a position like this uh, since I've been in college, and I have a lot of great girls to look up to and have it, the experiences that I've had. Um, and I'm not one of the only girls on this team who's going to be a leader. I have Megan Burnett, Carrie White, Audra, who's coming back. She's a senior, redshirt senior. We even have a couple of freshmen who are stepping up as well. So it's not just me as a team leader. We're Our top five girls and the other girls who are coming up are really just creating a great team bond, and we're all kind of stepping up into that position. I feel a lot more relaxed when I race. Um, I'm able to push myself and go to the well a little bit better than I have in past seasons. Um, as far as being number two on the team, <laughs> I'm competitive, so hopefully I can uh, push it and hopefully end up number one after this next meet. But, um, you know, we have a ton of great guys on this team. Um, Jonah Henry is looking like Superman right now, and Ricky Four and Harry Irwing and all the other guys on the team, they're in great shape. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if I was um, – I wouldn't be surprised if I was number three or four after this meet, um, just because the guys on this team, they're poised and ready to do great. So, yeah. You know, we always talk about being better than we were the meet before, and I think we did that last week at Montana State. We were quite a bit better than we were at Colorado State, and to compete the way we want to in Minnesota, we're going to have to be that much better again than we were at Montana State. So we want to be better than we were then, and we have to be. There's going to be a lot of ranked teams, 250 runners, almost 30 teams on the starting line. So it's a big competitive field.